Hi, Derek Blasberg on HarpersBazaar.com. We've just wrapped a full day of New York Fashion Week. Two shows, Carolina Herrera and Marc Jacobs, and the first ever Harper's Bazaar Accessories Bazaar. Let's start from the top. What did you think about Carolina Herrera? Carolina Herrera totally knows her customer. I mean, she is her customer, and that's the brilliant thing about Carolina. What was so great about the collection this time was that it was super styled. The hair, the makeup, the hats, barrettes, everything was sort of belted and tied together with these amazing kimono-wrapped belts. The shoes were incredibly ornate. And it was just sort of like, she knows her customer, she knows she's rich, she knows she wants to look it, you know? She's not afraid to sort of, you know, embrace her sort of elegance. A lot of creams, which we've seen a lot of. So obviously yeah, that girl yeah. has a, she's a driver. She's not taking yeah. the subway. No, the not, especially not in Carly Claus's dress. <laughs> the finale dress was this amazing sort of like, you know, ball gown. And it's just so nice to see such elegance on the runway. Here we are at Avery Fisher Hall for the Harper's Bazaar Accessories Bazaar. We're meeting up with the magazine's team and getting a personal tour of all the designers and what they've created. Let's have a look. We're here at the first Accessories Bazaar at Lincoln Center. We've selected 18 of the most talented accessory designers to show together for the very first time. Okay, well, let's have a look. Great. with Philip Cranji, designer for Giles and Brother. So what do you have here today? Um, I have my spring collection. It's starting with a lot of gold and into things that are much more sort of like hand wrought. Always that kind of deco inspiration, a little Great. like tribal hand work. And now we're here with Alejandro and Helmo, one of New York's new best cobblers. I hear you're the, the fourth generation of cobblers, yeah, the family uh, business. Yeah, four generations in my family. Started with my great grandfather in uh, Spain. So. I imagine your great grandfather didn't make shoes like this. Though. He didn't make anything like that. So. <laughs> And now for a music moment, we have the Miss Shake. Um, so let's talk a little bit about what we're hearing on the runways. We did six shows this week with Zach Posen. I mean, you heard a lot of more pop, high energy. Something like this morning with Diesel, where it was more of a, a score to a film. I think you're hearing a lot of sleigh bells everywhere. You're hearing a lot of... Is that uh, a band or is that Christmas music? It's, it's a band. <laughs> we're all about Willow Smith's new song called... Willow Smith is like the 10-year-old daughter yeah. of Will Smith? Yes. yes. Has a song out? She has a yeah. new song just came out last week. It's, it. it's called You Whip Your Hair Back and Forth. She said, like, she's not going to sing about love or heartbreak. She's going to sing about she's whipping her hair back and forth. <laughs> This is not the show to show up late to. We're early outside Mark Jacobs. Let's see what's happening inside. It's probably the most anticipated show in New York every year. That if you stand outside, you see girls in the highest, most ridiculous shoes, Running. walking like yeah. football players down Lexington Avenue. Not no, that wait, that was us. No, 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 no. So now we're with one of Mark's biggest fans, Miss Courtney Love. And a really good friend. And a very good friend. And, and I might be inching up on him in the longest day at the nursery. Really? I'm, my butt's on you. Uh, no, no, I gotta get the fuck out of there, man. <laughs> It was beautiful. In my head, we all started dancing the night away. Yeah. And Naomi's party. We stayed out till five in the morning. Everyone was dancing, and Mara Patsa was. She had this beautiful long dress, and she tucked into the waistband. I said, "That's what I think girls should look like." They just start out this evening so beautiful and elegant, and then the sweat just takes their makeup down their eyelids, and right. they roll up their sleeves and they hitch up their dress, and they say, "Fuck it." Thank you, Naomi Campbell. <laughs> Thank you, Naomi Campbell. God bless her. Mark loves a reference. Every season he sort of throws us for a loop. It's like, where is he gonna go this time? And this season he really delivered on that sort of glamorous Guy Bourdain, 1970s glam. I loved the hair and makeup. You know exactly who the woman is. She had these amazing flower lilies, all the off the shoulder, very glamorous. Again, high gloss. I love a hat. Yeah. They have hats. Yeah, hats. Hats, 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 hats. Who knew? Chanel once said, you know, he who insists on his own creativity has no memory. And unfortunately, whether it's a blessing or a curse, I have an incredible memory <laughs> for periods in fashion, whether they be the 70s, Antonio Lopez, Max's Kansas City, Glam Rock, New York Dolls, whether they are Walter Albini, Kenzo, Yves Saint Laurent, whether they're Calvin Klein, whether it's American fashion, Italian fashion, or French fashion, it's old fashioned. I loved it since I was a kid, and I can't get it out of my head. It was gorgeous. And the girls look glam and chic and beautiful. I thought. That's what I call a full day of New York Fashion Week. Come back to harpersbazaar.com tomorrow for more.